Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about an easy problem from lead code. The problem name is Hamming distance. So let's start. So the Hamming distance between two integers is the number of positions at which the corresponding bits of both of the numbers are different. So you are given two integers x and y and you just have to return the Hamming distance between two of them. So let's take an example. So as you can see that x can be represented as this in the bit, man like bit uh, representation as well as 4 is represented like this. Now if you just match every bit position, the number of bit position at which both the bits are different, you just have to count all of those positions and the count of them is actually the Hamming distance. So this is different at this position, this difference at this point they both are same. So the answer is that there are two different positions, the answer is 2. And that's the whole problem. Now how you can do this? Now it just requires bit manipulation. If you have some knowledge about bit manipulation, then you can easily solve this problem out. Let us take one example so that it will become more clear to you. I'm not writing down the actual number, but let's say that bit manipulation of any number, bit representation is like this. The next number is so this this is let's say x, this is y in the bit manipulation. Now what you can do is you just have to iterate over every bit in x and y. How you can do that? You can just do an AND of the part. So let's say and 1 left shifted i times at each iteration and i goes from 1 like 0 till 32. Now what I've done here is just bit manipulation. If you want to just find out that whether any bit is set or not, any bit is 1 or not. How you can do that? You can take x and just take one left shifted i number of times. So let's say I want to find out whether the ith bit is set or not. Now, so let's say I want to just check five fifth bit is set or not. So just take one left shifted five times. So five times means that one left shift five times means that you have added five zeros after this. And now you have x also. So let's say that x is like this. In the bit manipulation, x is like this. Now if you do an AND operation of this number and this number, this number is this and x is this. If both the numbers have the same bit at the same position, this will be some positive value which is like this. Okay. Or else if it is 0, then it will be 0. So the simple way is that if x and 1 left shifted i times, if it is a positive number, then that particular ith bit is set. If it is 0, then which means that the ith bit is not set. That's the way to check that a particular bit is set or not. So you can just iterate over every i bit of x and y. So you can just use this instead of x, you can use y. So the first up like expression is 1 left left shift i times. And the next is y and 1 left left shift i times. Now this two operations will tell you that whether both of the ith bit in both the numbers are set or not. And now you just have to check that they should be of different parity. If one is one, the other should be zero. If one is zero, the other should be one. And how you can check that? Zor operations. Zor operations can be like they are, uh, Zor operations are this operation in which it turns out to be one if both the bits on which you are doing the Zor operation are of different parity. If the same parity, it will be given zero. If it is of different parity, if you give, it will give you some positive integer. So you will just do an Zor operation of both of these particular values. And if this turns out to be a positive number, then the answer is that uh, both the bits are of different type. If they turns out to be zero, which means that the, both the bits are of same type, you don't have to count them. And uh, you just have to do this for all the bits from let's say zeroth position to 30, 31 position. Okay, because as you can see that the maximum number is up to 2 to 31. So you can you go from 0 to 2 to 31 bits. So which means that uh, 31 bits and you just have to check that uh, whether every bit is like this condition satisfying or not. So moving on to the code part. Total is the total number of uh, having distance that how many bits are different. It is from 0 to 32. Then you have written these two expressions. You can like do this in two different variables also. I can just have done this in one can, like one expression. So x and 1 left left shift i. This will give you one expression. This will just tell that the first like the ith bit in x is set or not. Similarly, whether the ith bit in y is set or not. If they both, whatever is their status, just do a Zor operation on it. And if it gives a positive integer, this if condition will turn out to be true. And this will like increment the total variable. And then just return the total number of variables that has the Hamming distance greater than uh, like that have different. And just return the Hamming distance. So 
that's the overall logic and code part for this problem and uh, the overall time complexity is o of n and n is very small like a total number of bits actually the total number of bits in the number uh, that i'm talking about n and it is 32 so o of 32 that is actually just constant time so o of 1 only because we are just always doing 32 bits so o of 1 that is the overall time complexity of this problem as well so if you still have any doubts you can mention down in the comment box thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one till i keep coding and bye